we, uh, we started building the boat with just a dream. Uh, no money, no inheritance, no huge amount of cash. We, uh, fortunate enough, we had access to um, a big farm, 200 acres, which we selected a spot to build a, um, a, uh, a shed on. We couldn't just go and buy a shed. We had to go out into the paddock, cut down a tree, use it for the posts. We had to go out into the paddock, cut down another tree, and use it for the, uh, for the trusses, designed and manufactured all the trusses, put all the trusses on myself, did everything to make the shed a robust farm shed, Australian style. Those that have seen them will know what they are. They're certainly not an industrial shed you'd get in suburbia. Anyway, we, we lived in a caravan. We had no running water. We had an electrical lead from the house. We toiled away for many, many years, uh, a long, long time. Uh, we, we manufactured absolutely everything ourselves. We had uh, very limited resources. We would both work Monday to Friday. Um, and then on the, in the afternoons or on the weekends and or on the weekends we would uh, uh, work on Charlie and slowly but surely uh, Charlie began to take shape and uh, the, more, the more we got into it the more satisfied we became with our high visual reward and more unhappy we'd become or you know, depressed if you like it for the low visual reward we'd work for days at a time and not actually see anything and then you'd go and put up an eight, an eight before sheet of something or a big panel and you'd go wow this is fantastic so uh, so that's um, yeah the, the highs and lows of it the uh, the hardship the the, uh, the hardships there the, no, no question um, building a boat from nothing is, uh, is a huge challenge um, we had to I designed the boat myself and built the boat there was years and years and years of doubt I was 19 when I started, to give you some idea. Uh, the boat turned out quite alright, floated exactly where it should have. Um, structurally, after 25 years, we haven't done anything yet, uh, except a, a modification after damage, damage, which was, uh, sorry, after 21 years we didn't do anything. We did a modification after 25 years, because uh, we got smashed up. But the uh, boat's perfect, so uh, all those years of doubt that I had, will it float, will it sail, will it motor, Back in 1985 when I designed it, it was um, uh, very unusual. I think it was one of the first sailing catamarans to have full sta of its size, to have full standing headroom in the bridge deck. Um, it was certainly a, a different boat and she still turns heads now, all those years later. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's Mangrove Charlie. To, just, to, to actually build a boat when you're a young fella or a young couple, is uh, and no money, just a dream is is a huge challenge. I cannot um, overstate how difficult everything is to uh, to do because you have to do everything yourself because you cannot afford to waste any money, any time, any resources in any way. Uh, so um, yeah, and a long process, but incredibly satisfying and rewarding. The um, the joys of actually creating something, manufacturing something from nothing. Is, uh, is, is unless you've experienced it, you'll never fully appreciate how much pleasure you get from it. Um, we had many people uh, come and visit us while we were uh, building the boat. Many um, didn't believe we'd ever finish it, especially the fact that we took so long to actually do it. The, uh, the, uh, the willpower that is needed to build a boat. And then once the boat's built, that's not the end of it. Every seven years, you effectively have to rebuild the boat. Uh, external paint, internal linings, uh, electronics last about five years. So it's a rebuild every seven years, uh, which is another fairly substantial expense you have to incur. If you don't use your boat and you park it in a marina, you don't have to do it as often because there's no salt water getting over anything. There's no acid bath. It's just sitting in a marina tied to a dock. If you use your boat, you'll have to do it every seven years, at least every seven years, um, which is a, another joy of owning a boat. But again, the pleasure, the absolute pleasure you get from sailing a boat, leaving an anchorage, sailing it to the next destination, dropping the anchor, exploring the anchorage, sharing the experience with other peoples. Unbelievable. Oh, absolutely unbelievable. I've been doing it now for 25 years. And I would say, uh, yeah, I, I've had a, one, one of the best lives possible, I think.
deficit-positive, to my mind anyway. We live on next to nothing, uh, cost-wise. We don't stay in marinas. We eat very simply. We don't buy packaged food. We don't buy processed food, just raw ingredients. Um, we catch a few fish. We uh, get, a, get a bush tucker. But um, we live very, very, very cheaply. We, have, we sail most places. The engines are very economical so our overheads are down and that's enabled us to, um, to travel most of the time uh, and refit as required and keep the boat generally um, looking quite good. You've got a dream, it's hard, but you'll get there. Thanks.